Hello everyone, and welcome to Emberland. Today we will go over how to get a start in your first day in Emberland. The main focus of the game is to survive seven days. Whether you choose to do it solo or with a group, the world of Emberland can be unforgiving and tough. Today we will go over how to start off right in Project Evo. In the beginning you must farm materials and components to prepare to protect yourself because everything and everyone one wants you dead in Emberland and you must survive to be the first. Let's go over some basic materials and components. Scrap is a needed instrument to get blueprints to learn things. It used as the currency in game to learn items to craft them and or to trade with other players. Scrap can be found on the road in plentiful amounts or in monuments of any size. Now let's go over resources. Resources are needed to make a base, craft ammo, and to make items of all kinds. It is a key necessity to always have resources on hand. This includes wood, stone, iron, and nitrate, all of which are easily located in the top right minimap. Now that we have scrap and resources, let's make a base. I usually suggest making a 3x3. Three three. It's easier to work with later when expanding your base and also gives you a lot more room for loot. When choosing a build location, be sure you have ample room and space to expand your base later as the game goes on. You will need to make your base bigger to protect yourself from other players. Furnaces are a key part to refining your resources. Iron, nitrate, and wood all can be burned in the furnace for a refined product to craft with. This is necessary to make guns, ammo armor, and tons of other things. Splitting up your resources in the furnaces will make the refining process go quicker. Make sure to always split up resources for each furnace for a more efficient refine. You will need refined iron and wood to make a tier 1 workbench. Workbenches are used to learn blueprints and to make higher quality items. You can't craft out in the world. Make sure to put all your valuable items into the ember chest safe. These items will not be stolen if you are raided. After you make your tier 1 workbench go up to it. And click on the research button to start learning blueprints. It will cost a lot of scrap. But scrap is very easily obtainable in game. Now that you have blueprints and refined resources. It's time to make gunpowder so you can make ammo. While that is crafting at your base. It's time to head to get components to make your first gun. Mini monuments are a great place to get some easy scrap. And gun parts you'll need to make your first gun. There will be zombies there. Be sure to always keep moving and they're harmless. Make sure to grab all boxes. Especially the miscellaneous ones, those will give you the springs and gun parts. You will need to craft your first gun. Keep an eye on your calories and hydration. You will die if you don't eat or drink and you will heal if both calories and hydration are above 75% passively. Now that we have farmed components, let's start to make chests and organize our loot. Organization and a clean base is a must in this game. Be sure to practice keeping loot organized. You will start off with smaller boxes, but you will be able to work yourself up to the big ones. Space is limited, so be sure to make more loot rooms and spots if needed as you go. I try to keep components together. Farm together, weapons together, etc, etc, but do what works best for you in this situation. There is a lot of loot to be collected in Emberland. So be sure to keep room on hand, always for quick spots to drop off loot. This game can and is very fast paced at times, so be warned. Now let's start to make our first gun. We will need iron gun parts and springs to make our first submachine gun. There is also a shotgun and car 98k you can make with the same materials. If you have a different playstyle or gun choice. Crafting will take some time in this game. Most things are not instant here and require time and patience to achieve. 
Don't be afraid to make multiple tier 1 workbench to help craft ammo and guns faster. Now that we have our gun and ammo, let's tame a horse with the saddle we learned in the workbench and head off to a green room monument. As you approach the monument, you'll realize there is a ton more zombies than before at the mini monument. The same goes for here. But much more carefully, make sure to keep moving and avoid zombies as best you can, killing them as you need to. There is also a banshee in every green card room. She is the boss of the area. She will be tanky but avoidable. Be careful, if she gets too close, she will do a lot to you. I suggest using a bow or gun to take her down. There will be red barrels sometimes near her that explode for big damage. Aim for her head and she will go down quick. She has a chance to drop a ember every time you kill her. Embers are the main goal of the game. You kill for your embers. You raid for your embers. Leaderboards for each server are ranked on highest team ember counts. Next step is green cards and green rooms. Green cards and green rooms can be found in smaller monuments. These rooms contain valuable loot including armor, guns, components, and a yellow card. Check all buildings to find the green card. And to loot all the boxes. Once you find the green card, remember where it was so you can find it every time. As for the green room, every monument has a different place for its green room. You will have to find the location for each monument. But an easy way to tell where the green room is in a monument is to look for the building. With boarded up windows, that is a sign that's where the green room is. Green rooms can be ran at any time as long as loot has refreshed. And you have an active card. Each green card only allows entry into three green rooms and it will break and you will need to find. Another one to keep running green rooms. I don't need to go around anymore. Break away, get your sober case. Stop dwelling on empty words. Stop stalling in the doorway. And cancel the cruise control. Switch it in the manual. Don't you wanna feel right? right.